Shalom. I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are my teachers. Much respect to you, brothers, laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. The salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the word, say Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Coming next to you with a quick lesson. Lord willing, it's edifying. All right, and this this devil is you know he's moving forward with his draconian laws. He's moving forward with making things mandatory. Matter of fact, <clears throat> we get a quick precept before we get this word mandatory. All right, because that's what this devil doing. He's he's setting up legisl legislation. All right, to persecute the poor. All right, who are who? The Israelites, man. More importantly, the, the elect of the children of Israel, the ones who are believing on the words of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. This is Revelation chapter 13 and verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming out of the earth and had two horns like a lamb. Yeah, these two horns represent what the phala uh, patricians and the Phalabians, so like if I pronounced it wrong, and in this modern time, the revised Roman Empire represents the Republicans and the Democrats. That's these two horns, all right? And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Yeah, that dragon goes in what? Goes into Draconian, which are these laws. Matter of fact, let's get that. Let's get Draconian. <coughs> Okay. Okay, Draconian. Draconian. It says, of the laws or their application, excessive, harsh, and severe. You see? So when this devil is now introducing these Draconian laws, all right, he's going to come down with great wrath. Okay? It says some of the similar words harsh, severe, strict, extreme drastic you see drastic Tr uh let's see stringent <laughs> right strict precise exacting let's go back uh tough right uh swindling cruel brutal oppressive right ruthless rel relentless punitive authoritarian yeah these these laws are going to be uh really what it says tyrannical right and it's going to be arbitrary you ain't gonna have no uh say in what's going on all right so this devil is now writing legislation to make this thing mandatory all right i'm not going to say any buzzwords i'm gonna let the video play and then we're gonna get precepts and then we're gonna close it out as you know, these devils are giving strikes now, so it's best to um, err on the side of caution. All right, walk in wisdom. Okay, now I have some videos queued up, and I'm gonna play, and uh, we're gonna get precepts and go from there. All right, I do not own the rights to these videos. This is not for monetary value. This is for educational purposes only. Get out and get your shots. We want to socialize and be with our families in the future. We want to thank you guys for being here with us for another great Senior Buddies campus. Why is the Senior Vaccine Buddy program being implemented over the course of these last several weeks? Yeah. So the neighborhood we're in and neighborhoods around it have been disproportionately affected by the coronavirus pandemic. They, the seniors here have faced the brunt of it. So when we have the vaccine coming out, we want to make sure that access is as easy as possible here. And one way to do that is to do something simple. Knock on their doors, talk to them about the vaccine, and schedule their appointment right then and there. And that's exactly what our great team members are doing, um, have been doing, and will continue to do. So you just had your door knocked on, and what message did they send to you? 
Get out, get the vaccine. I've been talking to family and friends constantly, and most of my siblings have gotten their first vaccine. And some people are not, and as I was speaking to a neighbor earlier, two of my neighbors have gotten there. And I said, woohoo, good for you guys. We cannot idly stand by and not do this. A large percentage of the illness and most of the deaths have been east of the river in southeast Washington, D.C. So certainly if you think about it, the, the responsible thing is for most of the vaccines, for us to focus east of the river when we're convincing people that this is the thing to do. When you guys walk up to the door and somebody says they haven't got vaccinated, what do you tell them then? We say, well, this is your lucky day because we're going to sign you up for a vaccine. And should they say, well, I don't know, and they are a little hesitant, then that's a great opportunity for us to begin to educate them about the problem. And as you can see, who are they using? They're using Jake, man, to facilitate this, to bring these things forth. Okay? They're going to start going door to door, man. Right? Why? Because of these draconian laws that's going to be introduced. It's going to make this thing mandatory. Matter of fact, let's go back to this word. Mandatory. Mandatory. Okay. Required by law or rules compulsory. Oh, excuse me. Compulsory. Right? Uh, matter of fact, let's get that word. Compulsory. It says uh, required by law or rule. Uh, obligatory right let's get that word and it might just be the same thing yeah so it, it, it's just basically going in circles let's go back to this word mandatory right it says required by law or rules similar words obligatory compulsory compulsory binding required inescapable unavoidable you see that it's going to be unavoidable for you to uh, follow what they have set up right scriptures tell you that these times are going to be perilous let's go get that <clears throat> let's go to first timothy and this place is uh falling down it's on its way out okay it's lucky that's not one second timothy perilous times Okay, and it reads, This I know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Yeah, let's look at this word perilous. Okay, Strong's G 5467. Strong's G 5467. Kalipas. Kalipas. And it reads what? Hard to do, to take, to approach, hard to bear. Yeah, these are going to be some hard to bear times coming up. Troublesome, dangerous, harsh, fierce, savage. You see? It's going to be some harsh times that's coming up. All right? And, and, and these draconian laws that they're introducing, right, are going to be unavoidable, inescapable, right? Let's see, uh, requisite necessary essential right imperative and that's what they say right here this is essential for them to go door to door right so we're their senior vaccine buddy and so 24 hours before their appointments we're calling them and we're like hey remember i knocked on your door you have an upcoming appointment just to you know calm their nerves and make sure that they remember all the necessary documentation and clothing required Yeah. Not only did I have grandparents, but I also have a lot of elders in my family. Also, my friends have elders in their family too. So, you know, just by just 
hearing the frustration in their voice and the pain of them not being able to navigate the technology and stuff like that. So by me being there to assist them, you know, uh, it just give them so much joy. And, you know, they not only that, get them joy, give me joy. Vaughn joins me live now from D.C. My goodness, friend, are you a sight for sore eyes. Uh, tell us more about this program. When did D.C. realize that it really had a problem vaccinating vulnerable seniors? And what kind of a difference is this outreach making so far? You know, it was clear, Allison, that this is going to be an issue here. Just take this part of Washington, D.C., where we're looking at here. And this is Ward 7 and Ward 8. And if you look at Washington, D.C. on a map, there's the Anacostia River that essentially divides parts of Washington, D.C. In Ward 7 and 8, about 96% of the residents are people of color here. There is a clear generational disparity in terms of access to just basic broadband. The city says more than one-third of residents here on this side of the river don't have access to basic Internet, which troubles uh, adds troubles if you're trying to create a vaccination. And that is why when you are looking at just these last couple of weeks, the numbers of vaccines that have come in, you've got to look at that rate. If you're looking at folks, seniors, 65 and older, compare Ward 8 right here where we are right now, just over 20% of folks 65 and older have received their first vaccine dose. Compare that to Ward 3, which is uh, a more affluent, uh, predominantly white. You know, the median household income is 130,000 there, more than 50% of the residents 65 and older have received that first dose there. The disparity is clear and that is why the city is targeting these neighborhoods going door to door. And I was talking to Ms. Mosley. You hear that? They said they specifically targeting these neighborhoods, man. All right, now let's go to the second video. Lord will not leave us in the description box. Assembly Bill A416 being proposed for the state of New York. Current Listen up, this is Assembly Bill A416 for the state of New York. And we know all things either start in California or start in New York and trickle its way through the country. Assembly Bill A416 being proposed for the state of New York. Current status of the bill is in committee. I'm going to skip down to section 412 where it states, in addition to the removal or detention orders referred to above, the governor may in his or her discretion issue and seek enforcement of any other orders that he or she determines are necessary or appropriate, including but not limited to, require an individual who has been exposed to or infected by a contagious disease to complete an appropriate prescribed course of treatment, preventative medication, or vaccination. So this bill would allow them to remove you from your home, force you into quarantine, force medical examination and treatment upon you, including a vaccination. This is no longer a conspiracy theory. If this bill gets passed for the state of New York, that's it. I mean, that's, that's the line. You see? And why does she say conspiracy theory, right? Why does she bring that up? Because they have been pumping out this information for a while to try and and handle the word of your how about shower shot okay and this goes back to what we just read it these draconian laws man let's go to isaiah <clears throat> this, is, this is how he works and if you don't comply with that guess what he's coming with the sword his last result okay this is isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1 Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and write grievousness which they have prescribed, yeah, which they have written down. All right, these things are grievous to the point where they're going to mandatory, right, tell you that you have to take this, okay, that you're now going to have to uh, be taken from your home, all right, and quarantined off and made to take that. Again, it reads, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that write grievousness which they have prescribed, to turn aside the needy from judgment, and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fatherless. Yeah, they may rob the Israelites, man. Okay, that's what this devil is going to do. Why? Cause he he 
he he's gonna go ahead and try and afford his agenda because he know he has but a short time all right these different policies these different um uh law measures that they write up it's just the beginning matter of fact let's go to daniel daniel 8 okay and hey man start with our apostles and elders on down they've been warning us we've been warning you of, of this impending danger that's coming everything happens gradually with the lord you have by shout shout even the word it was a seed that grew and now it's flourishing as even with the wicked the wicked was a seed that was planted here in america and it's grew and now is it is is it is in is that it's harvest it's ready to be plucked this is daniel chapter 8 and verse 25 and through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand you see and through his policy also shall he cause craft to prosper in his hand and he shall magnify himself in his heart and by peace shall he destroy many yeah that first video going door to door and by peace shall he destroy many and he shall also stand up against the prince of princes who is that Yahweh Shai but he shall be broken without hand yeah and that's the true ending fate of Esau Edom the so called white man you're going to be broken by Yahweh Shai without hand alright but again through his policy let's look up this word policy okay <coughs> Uh, H seventy nine twenty two, Shakel Shakel says prudence, insight, understanding. Uh, let's see, insight, understanding, cunning, craft in a bad sense. You see, in a bad sense. So this devil is now trying to implement certain policies. It's going to uh, affect who the children of Israel. All right. That's who this is designed to get caught up. That's why they made you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latino, Latinos, you so-called Native Americans. The face of this thing, all right? Let's go to Proverbs 29. This is Proverbs chapter 29. And verse 25 the fear of man bringeth a snare but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord Yahweh shall be safe let's examine this the fear of man bringeth a snare yeah you feel it fear Esau you fear when he trying to make these things mandatory at your job you know uh, in your everyday life guess what you're gonna be caught up in that snare because you fear him you, you're not putting your trust in the Lord Yahweh shall shall the fear of man bringeth a snare but whoso put of his trust in the Lord shall be safe so yeah when these things are being going to be made mandatory because they are you won't have to put your trust in the who the Lord you how about shall shall all right let's go to Jeremiah and this is the point because these things are going to happen these things are going to come down it's written so who are you going to put your trust in Jeremiah 17 and 11 blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is yeah we got to be hoping in the Lord you have by shout shout you can't straight a path you can't fall weak all right you got to uh, understand what the what the will of the heavenly father is okay and what's that to bring down Babylon the great in all facets so understanding that you know part of that is that all these jobs are going to be completely done away with so why hold on to something that you know is not going to be here that's understanding what the will of the Lord is matter of fact let's get that Ephesians 5 and we start at 15 right Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 15 see then that you walk circumspectly not as fools but as wise redeeming the time because the days are evil yeah these times are going to be evil we just read it 
perilous times are going to come hard to bear right wherefore be ye not unwise but understanding what the will of the Lord is you see us being made uh, put in this special council all right through the spirit and power of your heart by shy and having men that the Lord has set up to lead us right to, to watch over our souls we understanding what the will of the Lord is all right we're not being unwise we're being prudent Matter of fact, let's go get that. Proverbs 22 and 3. It says, A prudent man foresee of the evil, you see? A prudent man foresee of the evil and hide of him. Yeah, where are you going to hide yourself? In a pavilion or your how by shower shot in that hiding place. Under those wings, right? Where those wings are ultimately luxurious, but you under the shadow of the Almighty. You have that hedge of protection, right? It says a prudent man foresee of the evil and hide of himself but the simple pass on and are punished you see let's go back the simple get out and get your right hands. the simple pass on and are punished yeah, and what is this thing hands. doing okay let's, let's get a picture of the simple all right and our people just, you know, they've been blind. They been, you know, that's what the Lord did. All right? Let's see if we can capture a better picture. The simple. You know? You know, these, these, these people have been around Esau and trying to be equal to him for so long, you know. They, they just are, are, are broken down in a state of uh, submission, right? Again, it reads, A prudent man foresee of the evil and hide from himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. You see? But the Lord are going to punish those simple, all right? The ones who trust in oppression. The ones who trust in the ways of Esau. In fact, let's go to, let's go to the Apocrypha. Okay. Let's go to the park. And uh, I, I, I wasn't going to get that, but might as well get it. You know? Because why? It rings true today. Sarat or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12. And I'm going to just jump down to 14. All right, it says, so, matter of fact, let me read 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any come now wild beast? So one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity? For a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. An enemy speak of sweetly with his lips. Yeah, we're going to try and give you these different uh, potions to uh, to save you, right? An enemy speak of sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, his mind, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. You see? He will not be satisfied with blood. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first, and though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee, you see? Right? And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. He will shake his head and clap his hands and wish him much and change his countenance. Yeah, that's what these mandatory draconian laws are going to go into. This double changing his countenance. All right. You see, Assembly Bill A four sixteen introduced into what the uh, is is right now in New York. All right, and everything trickles down from New York and California. All right. Let's go to Wisdom Asylum. I believe this is what I want. <clears throat> Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7 
and verse 28 it reads the most high love of none but him that dwell with wisdom yeah you dwelling with this wisdom knowledge and understanding the lord said he love you right yeah he said he love of none but those that dwell with wisdom all right and you dwelling with wisdom guess what the lord says again he loves you and he gonna fight matter of fact he's gonna fight for the ones he loves let's go to wisdom of solomon 3 i believe okay yep it's beautiful but the souls of the righteous are in the this is wisdom of solomon 3 and 1 the point i want is in 9 but we're gonna read down it says uh wisdom of solomon 3 and 1 but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the most high and there shall no torment touch them in the sight of the unwise they seem to die yeah in the sight of unwise you know these these heathen all right two-thirds of our people right they seem to die and their departure is taken for um for misery yeah if if, if any brother do end up being taken out it's going to be what uh to these people all right to these uh two-thirds is going to seem as a uh, misery right and they're going from us to be utter destruction but they are in peace for though they be punished in the sight of men yet is their hope full of immortality yeah when you getting ready to go through these different draconian laws these different uh statutes that they try and impose right you're going to be punished in the sight of men for though they be punished in the sight of men yet is their hope full of immortality yeah because we know the end of the story and having been a little chasing they shall be greatly rewarded yeah the lord loves those who we chasing we just read the lord love none to him to dwell with wisdom so he's chasing you to, to to what clean you up making you acceptable making you tried in the gold of fight making you as gold tried in the fire right and having been a little chasing they shall be greatly rewarded for the most high proved them you see for the most high proved them and found them worthy for himself oh that's that's beautiful as gold in the furnace he have tried them and received them as a burnt offering you see that and in the time of their visitation they shall shine and shall run to and fro like sparks among the stubble yeah these people getting burnt up right they shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people don't you read in revelations him that overcometh will i give charge over the nations right it says again they shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people and their lord shall reign forever they that put their trust yeah you putting your trust in the lord you have by shall shy you're not worried about uh these mandatory draconian laws that's being set up right they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth and such as be faithful in love right how do you love your how about shall shy by doing what he say and such as be faithful in love shall abide dwell right with him for grace and mercy is to his saints and he have care for his elect so don't worry about it don't worry about your job man don't worry about these mandatory draconian laws that's been implemented because why the lord say he's gonna take care of us man all right through it all let's get this and close it out let's go back to ecclesiasticus chapter four right <clears throat> and verse 28 it reads strive for the truth unto death and the lord shall fight for thee let's read this again strive for the truth unto death and the lord shall fight for thee let's get that word strive right so this says what strive for the truth unto death make great efforts to achieve or obtain something you see again it says make great efforts to achieve or attain something struggle or fight vigorously you see 
attempt, endeavor, aim, aspire, venture. Yeah, we aspire to the kingdom. All right. Well, as we know, this is not the last hurrah. Again, it says, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. So, when these devils try to implement these mandatory draconian laws, don't worry about it, man. The Lord got us. That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord will has been edifying. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are my teachers. Much respect to you, brothers, laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. Lord willing, covenant you with a lesson. Till the next time I say, Shalom.